Everybody has that favorite food they can eat almost every day. For me, it's crawfish. Let me put y'all on one way to make it with this crawfish etouffee. I'm telling y'all, it's pressure. So boom, as with most Cajun and Creole dishes, you want to start off with the holy trinity. We have the onion, bell pepper, and celery. This is going to go in almost any Cajun and Creole dish, I promise you. From gumbo, etouffee, shrimp, Creole, all that. We're going to chop it up, and then we're going to move on over to our pot. Now in our pot, we're going to add buku butter. And again, for all the people that's always asking, buku just means a lot. Once it's melted, we're going to add in our vegetables and we're going to let it get nice and tender. Once they're translucent and tender to your liking, we're going to go ahead and add in the garlic. You only got to cook this for another minute to get it nice and fragrant. Now, another staple in Cajun and Creole dishes is a roux. Now, you could make your roux beforehand and add your flour to your butter, but I wanted to get my vegetables nice and tender, so I did it this way. Now, you want to get your wrist to work and stir this flour in continuously for about 10 to 15 minutes till it gets a nice golden brown color. The darker you make this, the nuttier it's going to be. For etouffee, you don't need it as dark as gumbo. Now we're going to throw in some tomato paste, hot sauce, paprika, cayenne, and Cajun seasoning. Remember, if you ain't sneezing, it ain't seasoned. We're going to mix everything in just to get it nice and combined. If you don't like spice, you could omit the cayenne pepper and just go from there. Now you want to add in your crawfish stock. Most people don't have this, so if you don't have it, just find a regular seafood stock at the store. And if you don't have that, you could always use chicken stock. So pour in whatever stock you have, and then we're going to mix it till everything comes together again. Add some bay leaf, and then we're going to bring it to a boil. You should start seeing some foaminess at the top. That means your roux is working. Good job. Now we're going to reduce this down to a simmer. Now in French, etouffee literally means smothered, so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to let all those flavors lock in, and then we're going to stir it occasionally for about 20 minutes. It should get nice and thick at this point, and from here, you want to go ahead and start getting your crawfish together. So let me show you all the different options you have. First one is the most tedious, but it's going to taste the best. I boiled these, peeled them, vacuum sealed them. This is as fresh as it could get straight out the boil just like that. I know most people don't have this option, but if you do, do this. The time is worth it. Next, you have your frozen crawfish. You want to have Louisiana crawfish tails. It must say Cajun certified. Most restaurants use this and it's perfect for when crawfish are not in season or if you just don't feel like boiling crawfish when it is in season. Lastly, we have these. These are from China. Most Southerners are frowned upon this you always want it to be locally sourced but if it's your only option and you want some crawfish use this just rinse them out completely or you could just use shrimp now go ahead and add your crawfish to your pot along with some lemon juice and then we're gonna come with some fresh parsley and green onion now the crawfish are already cooked at this point so you really could turn the heat off and we're just gonna stir all this in until it gets nice and coated into our a2 face sauce just go ahead and look at this <laughs> yes lord this stuff full of flavor season it to taste and then we're gonna go ahead and remove our bay leaf now, etouffee is best served over rice. Most places at restaurants have this already made and they just warm it up. So you really want to try the authentic stuff. I promise y'all it's not that hard. Let me know how it goes. And just like my name, you're all done.